I'll show you this, though, before we get on, because uh, have you been enjoying the pop sensation... Uh, he's known as a Korean act, I think he's from L.A. mainly, uh, Psy doing the Gangnam Style, you know, the... <laughs> OK. Uh, well, it's number one now, I believe. It's the number one video on YouTube as well. I think you've all seen it. If you haven't, uh, just have a quick look at this. This is a reminder. I love Gangnam Style. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Okay, so we love that, but this week I made a discovery that it is just as good, if not better, without the music. Take a look. Maybe it's even better. OK, it's time to get my first guess out. They have the future of pop music in their hands, or at the very least, the Christmas number one. It is, from The X Factor, Nicole Scherzinger, Gary Barlow and Dermot O'Leary. <laughs> <laughs> Come sit down. Wow. Gary, you look fabulous and handsome as always. Dermot, you look as sophisticated. There's your next James Bond right there. But Nicole, that skirt, my God, that's about as tight as a skirt can be, isn't it? Thank you. How do you get yourself in and more importantly out of something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I wiggle myself in. Wow. So congratulations, all of you, because the series has been great. Hasn't X Factor been great so far this year? Some real, uh, some real fine, some great funny moments, some kind of really lovely emotional moments as well, of course. You're now onto the live shows. Is that easier? Is that harder? Do you prefer them? Would you rather it be still the kind of early stages? Gary, let's start with you. Uh, yeah, it's like another show starts, really, when the live shows start. It goes into another gear, and I think it gets more exciting, actually. OK. Nicole, you like the live performances more? I, I like the live performances because, you know, we get to see them perform in the moment with a real audience. But um, I find myself like getting like weirded out a little because yeah. everybody's so loud, and then I'm speaking, and I'm like, what, 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 what? Oh my God, what's going on? And it's crazy. It's yeah. chaos, but it's exciting. And Dermot, you actually get something I get to, do to do now. Do something, yeah. Because in the other <laughs> show, really, it's, <laughs> it's basically you hug people and say sort of sorry. Just a, a pop music social worker, really. I'm just on the show. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm, it's great to be actually doing something. Remember those dreams you had? They've gone. Have a hug yeah. instead. <laughs> OK, so uh, let's talk about the, uh, the, the different kind of groups you've got to look after, first of all, and, and who all your favourites are. Um, because, of course, Nicole, you have got the boys. Yes. OK. Louis has got the groups, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Talisa has the girls. Yep. And you have no chance, because, of course... Uh, <laughs> that is not true. But they haven't won since... Is it Series 1 that one of the oldies won? Is that why? That was a piece of information I didn't know until now, so now I am worried. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Steve... Br br is it Brookstein? Bro yeah. Steve yeah. 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 It's not yeah. Steve Brokenstein. No, no. It's not like a, <laughs> a lumbering Frankenstein. <laughs> it's Brokenstein! <laughs> I think this is the thing that, that, that historically through this competition, it, it has been the joke category. Um, but, you know, if you think the over 28, you look at most of the singers out there, you know, yeah. uh, Beyonce, Rihanna, they'd be overs. I, I just... Rihanna's not over 28, is she? <laughs> is she not? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me redo that. Well, Nicole, you're 17, We're, we're right? reminding yeah. that yeah. one 15, I think. Sorry, Rihanna. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Rihanna. Yeah, she's not. <laughs> I'd just squeeze into the overs. I'd just be an over. <laughs> you're what, are you 44 or 45 now? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> 41. You're 41? Yeah. You're not bad for 41. You'd be better for 45. Um, <laughs> LAUGHTER He looks great. He looks great. Uh, you have real discipline. And so, I know you enjoy working us for that, but you, are you a bit of a bully to the others? Does he keep an eye on what you guys are eating? Just think about what Gary does. We'll sit down and Gary will have his own dinner. But I always say to Gary, and I know sort of what I want for dinner by about 11 o'clock in the morning. I say, oh, I feel like I'm a fish guy now, do you know what I mean? Whereas I always say to Gary, what are you having? And he'll go, I've no idea. As the plate arrives <laughs> and as he starts to fork it into his mouth, so you've no idea what you're going to eat, do you? No. 
Wow. Isn't that weird? You know what? Because he's like the Terminator, really. He's just he's focused on no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> eat. Listen. He's like that. He's like, it's all business with you guys. He's not so picky about his red wine, though. He likes a little vino oh, galaxy. Any red wine. Any red wine. Yeah. Picky with food, not with drink. So, <laughs> because you do, clearly, I've seen the show, you clearly get drunk during the shows sometimes. I think we've all seen it. That's right, isn't it, Nicole? He has it in a teacup, doesn't he? Because you see the teeth so well. got a funny colour by the end. <laughs> it's either wine or Ribena. You know what? That is actually <laughs> slightly true. Because, <laughs> no, I don't drink during the, the ITV1 show, but as we flip to ITV2, oh, yeah. and I realise less people are watching, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, my tea arrives and it has got red wine in it. Wow. And, and so it, this is Jager Bob in it for the second show. Bet, yeah. <laughs> um, now. Let me just talk about some of the other characters, because what we all love about the early stage of The X Facts, I think, are we love seeing the new talent wave. We also see the people who maybe shouldn't be there, who maybe you think maybe their friends would have said to them, well, what are you thinking? And they're still up there. Uh, do you have a favourite of the kind of uh, the more eccentric... Are you, are you entrance? talking about Jerry Halliwell? <laughs> 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 well, OK, if you want to go that way. <laughs> Well, you, had, you had two mad old ladies. You had Joey and Mel B. They well, were both kind of... Well, that was the funny thing this time, because we didn't have a fourth judge at the start of it. Yeah. And so we had a succession of guest judges who came. But it was great fun, because we really did have the crazy to, to the beautiful. Okay. So, um... Let's it ask, let me ask you about Mel B, then, and let me ask you about Joey. Mel B, uh, a lot of people criticised Mel B and said she was too harsh. She was a little bit too, um, not dismissive, but maybe a bit too cold. I mean, I'm even, when she turned down the old guy who was singing, I don't know if you remember that, and even Dermot, I think you said... What I did said you she say? has no heart. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think you said, where's her soul, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the old fellow who came up when his wife was waiting backstage, and, yeah, sure, he wasn't going to go all the way in the competition, but, you know, it was, uh, it was a lovely moment. And Mel B just... She's went... like a Dementor, isn't she? She's got <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I really enjoyed her on the show. I did, too. Because yeah. I think, especially when there's a guest judge, I think they feel sometimes compelled to say yes to everyone. That's happened yeah. a few times, mm -hmm. I think, don't they? Because yeah. they're not going to be responsible down the line, I exactly. guess. So... Yeah. Whereas she just went, I thought it was boring. <laughs> and, and then you said to her backstage, did you really... And she goes, oh, yeah, like watching Paint Right. <laughs> so <laughs> she was great, wasn't she? Again? She was oh. great. I actually gave me a holiday for a few days because... It comes down the line, I'm usually the one who gives the bad news, as everyone else is sort of dreaming. It was OK, yeah, yeah, we can see the potential in that. I'm like, no, it's not going to happen, mate. But Mel was doing that for me, <laughs> so I was really enjoying myself. I'll I was like, that was amazing. I'll tell you what, this one's tough, and, and we, you haven't seen enough of it yet, because on... Well, show the, us some more, then, the, Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are moments, there was a great moment in, in the boot camp show when someone yeah. said, do you mind me asking why I didn't get through? And she said, because your audition wasn't good. And as they walked off, she went... I'll tell you why. Your pitch was off. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, go, oh, me and me and For a moment, mom. when you were doing that, I thought I was in Sex and the City for a moment. <laughs> and you, uh, this is, we've been talking about Joey, uh, and I got the feeling that you got on very, very well I love her. with Joey. <laughs> Let's just remind ourselves of that. Let's face it, raw sexual chemistry. <laughs> Definitely got potential. Thank you. There's barely a voice amongst you, actually. Can I just... Oh, sorry to interrupt. I'm talking, Jerry. Sorry. I'm talking, love. Not everybody in Take That could sing. Not everybody in the Spice Girls could sing. OK. Should we have a vote? Yes. It's a no from me. When I first said that I could not sing, I can sing now. Two of your members could not sing. Jerry, don't even go there. You, you had five. I want to start a fight. Um, hey, I, I, you know what? I admire your self control because let's face it, we all know, I think we know, Jerry didn't have the strongest voice in the Spice Girls. <laughs> Uh-huh. That's one uh, way of putting it. Yeah, and so when she said, you know, in the beginning, I couldn't sing, I could see you thinking... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I've known Jerry for a long time. She is a sweetheart, but I think she arrived that day thinking, I've got a job at last. And she really <laughs> went for it. She did, she went for it. Yeah. And the producers were loving it and yeah. telling her to go more, and of course, there's the result right there. Okay. But it was fun, it was memorable, it kind of makes the show, it keeps the show fresh and interesting yeah. and exciting. Uh, Dermot, you love the Spice Girls? Yeah, I mean, 
who doesn't, right? You, I mean, the... you, you have a favourite? Oh, my favourite always fluctuated from scary. Do you remember they did that great face cover? You know, the face magazine, and they had some great pictures on it. I'm too young to remember. Oh, that. Exactly. <laughs> we had that when I was at university, we had that sort of up in my wall. So I. I... Hold on, you had it up on your, in your bedroom? Yeah. Above your bed? Next to. And you were holding it up with one hand all that time? <laughs> Nicole, I forgive him for being so. Rude. I think Baby's probably my favourite. Okay, Baby Spice. Mm. Like Let's spice. talk about then uh, Wylam, mm. because he looks like a very sweet guy. He looks like a very emotional guy. Mm -hmm. He's a funny guy. Um, is he? And this is something I heard all you judges say at various times about various people, and you're the one who has to kind of, you know, yeah. hug him afterwards. Is he emotionally strong enough for what's about to, to happen? Yeah, he's emotionally strong enough. He's What's so great about him is that he's so lovable behind the cameras. Everybody falls in love with him, and he's just... He's entertaining to all of us. He's got us laughing and stuff, but, um, but then when he's... It's time to work. He has the eye of the tiger in him. He's got a pretty good voice as well, I think. I mean, I know he's got a great voice. It's been growing, and he's a performer. And, and what I was saying earlier was not. It's not just about singing. We all we all know that he doesn't want to be the next Whitney. Mm. He wants to be a dance, um, pop artist. Uh, but he's got his own sparkle and his own shine to him. And the X Factor is having that. Where are you from, girlfriend? <laughs> Where are you from in, in America? Well, I was born in Hawaii. And then I grew up in Kentucky. Well, that's you got the southern twang going on yeah. right there. Okay. And I've been, I just moved here, so I'm kind of jet lagged, so I kind of sound what, what like. What do you mean you move in your jet lagged? Well, how long does it take you to get over? Like four years? <laughs> <laughs> it's like three nights. <laughs> no, I just moved here like. So you two moved here ago. to be with uh, Mr. Hamilton? Well, he, he's actually, he doesn't live in the UK. Okay, so you've moved here to be away from him. No. <laughs> <laughs> but he's... Um, Pretty permanent. <laughs> it, it, unfortunately, everyone's like, oh, you guys are going to be together all the time, but the races and the live shows... Mm. Um, but, are, but are you together right now? Is it, is yeah, it, we're together. He's how long before are you going to get married? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you have to ask him. No, I asked him, he said, ask you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's have a look at Ryland. Now, when we were talking about Ryland just then, uh, unless you have trapped wind, Gary was making a bit of a face. When I said he's got a good voice, Gary looked at me and sort of went... <laughs> Come on, Nicole, you've got ears. He's got... he's got a good oh. voice. No, hey, hey, no clapping. <laughs> Do not encourage. <laughs> Let's have a little look-see <laughs> at the potential superstar. Potential winner. The potential winner, potential. the potential Christmas number one, and if it is, you only have yourselves to blame. <laughs> and you can just sense Gary is jealous that he isn't mentoring him. Yes. That's what it is. It's jealousy. Exactly it, is. What it is. Shows you in a very bad light. That's it. <laughs> this is Rylan in action. Rylan, it's such a big risk that I have to take it. And you are in my final Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Uh, we're going to take a break. I'll be chatting with Nicole and Dermot and Gary. More after this. Don't go away.